Welcome to Module 5, AWS Shared Responsibility Model. In this module, we will delve into the AWS Shared Responsibility Model and cover the following subjects. The components of the AWS Shared Responsibility Model. Describing the customer's responsibilities on AWS. Describing AWS responsibilities. Describing responsibilities that the customer and AWS share. Describing how AWS responsibilities and customer responsibilities can shift, depending on the service used, for example, Amazon EC2, Amazon RDS, and more. Let's dive in. The AWS Shared Responsibility Model defines the division of responsibilities between AWS and its customers in the context of security and compliance. AWS is responsible for the security of the cloud. This includes the global infrastructure, regions, availability zones, edge locations, and the infrastructure software that powers services such as compute, storage, databases, and networking. Customers, on the other hand, are responsible for the security in the cloud. This means they are accountable for what they bring into the AWS environment. The responsibilities include network configurations, customer-controlled encryption, identity, and access management or IAM applications, and safeguarding customer data. Let's break it down using Amazon EC2 as our example. The diagram might seem a bit intricate, but let's simplify. In a nutshell, for Amazon EC2, AWS takes charge of the cloud infrastructure. This spans from the physical layer, ensuring security in the data center infrastructure, to the network and hypervisor or virtualization layers. On the flip side, customers handle the guest operating system, managing updates and security patches. They also take the reins on AWS provided firewall configurations or security groups for each EC2 instance. Beyond that, customers bear full responsibility for their applications and data security. This includes access permissions and encryption, both on the server and client sides. Still not sure and confused? Let's put it in everyday terms. We're revisiting our friend Mr. Lee and his family's move to the U.S. Remember that apartment they rented that we covered in the previous module? Well, it's like the AWS cloud, a shared responsibility between Mr. Lee and the property management. Mr. Lee takes charge of the security within his four walls, and here's how it breaks down. He's the gatekeeper, managing those key cards and locking up when he's off exploring the city. If something smells fishy, He's on the phone to the landlord or property management faster than you can say suspicious activity. What about the valuables? They've got a cozy spot in the safe. It's like Fort Knox in there. And for the maintenance folks, they'd better bring their ID for verification before they knocked on Mr. Lee's apartment door. Now, on the other side of the coin, the property management is handling the bigger picture, the entire apartment building complex. They've got their own set of responsibilities. Access control, think keycard magic, making sure only the right folks get into the building. Surveillance, CCTV cameras are their eyes and ears, keeping tabs on what's happening around the complex. Security guards, these are the unsung heroes, the on-site guardians ready to tackle any potential threats. Entry gate, vehicles? They've got to pass through a secure gate, managed by the building's security team. So, AWS Shared Responsibility Model is a bit like this apartment deal. You've got your part, AWS has theirs. It's a teamwork thing, and just like Mr. Lee and the property management, everyone's got their role to play in keeping things secure. AWS offers a diverse array of services, spanning from infrastructure to managed services, your role and that of AWS evolve based on the specific services you choose. In infrastructure services, exemplified by Amazon EC2, AWS oversees the foundational infrastructure. Customers, in turn, focus on elements atop this infrastructure, covering server and client data encryption, network traffic protection, guest operating system, application, and data. Transitioning to container services, like Amazon RDS, AWS shoulders the system management. However, customers retain control over their data and access. As for managed services, AWS assumes a greater share of responsibility, leaving customers in charge of managing their data and encryption. In essence, the balance of responsibility in AWS is dynamic and aligns with the unique characteristics of each selected service. 
Ever wondered why the responsibility line seems to play hopscotch with services like Amazon EC2, Amazon RDS, Amazon S3, and the gang? Well, let's not leave you scratching your head. Let's rewind a bit and catch up with our friend Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee's property agent lays out a bunch of apartment options. It's like picking from a buffet. You've got your partially furnished apartments, kinda like choosing a place that comes with the basics, closets, storage cabinets, cooktops, and range hoods. Easy peasy. But, oh boy, if Mr. Lee wants a bit more luxury, he might eye those fully furnished apartments. These are like the VIP experience, furniture, home appliances, the whole shebang. Talk about moving in style. Now, if Mr. Lee and his family want to live the high life, they could opt for a service apartment. It's like getting the deluxe package, TV cable, broadband, and even laundry service. Pretty sweet deal, right? So, think of AWS like Mr. Lee's apartment hunt. You decide the level of service you want, and your responsibilities shift accordingly. AWS takes care of the big stuff, and you add your personal touch. The AWS shared responsibility model extends to IT control. Just as the responsibility to operate the IT environment is shared between AWS and its customers, so is the management, operation and verification of IT controls shared. First up, we have the AWS controls or inherited controls. These are controls fully inherited by customers from AWS. Think of things like physical and environmental controls. AWS has got that covered. Then there are shared controls. These controls stretch across both infrastructure and customer layers. AWS sets the requirements for infrastructure and customers independently implement controls within their use of AWS services. Let's break it down with a couple of examples. Patch management, AWS takes charge of patching and fixing flaws within the infrastructure. However, customers are responsible for patching their guest OS and applications. Configuration management, AWS maintains the configuration of its infrastructure devices, but customers take the reins for configuring their own guest operating systems, databases, and applications. Awareness and training, AWS trains its own employees, but customers need to ensure their team is up to speed. Lastly, we have customer-specific control. These controls are solely the responsibility of the customer, depending on the application deployed within AWS services. For example, Service and communications protection or zone security might require a customer to route or zone data within specific security environments. In a nutshell, the AWS shared responsibility model ensures that IT controls are a collaborative effort. So, whether it's AWS controls, shared controls, or customer-specific controls, it's a tag team to keep things secure and running smoothly. Congratulations! You have completed Module 5, AWS Shared Responsibility Model